probably the most unique or special thing about Nawson's program is how the campus truly is all of Northern Ontario. Every community plays a big role in educating the students and from very, very early on in the medical education, the students are sent out of the central cities, often to rural smaller communities. So right from the start, they're both learning from community members as well as community-based physicians and they really being tailored to these communities and to the population that hopefully they'll serve in the future. In northern and rural communities, the vast majority of medical services by physicians is offered by generalist family doctors, and accessing specialists is quite challenging, and most of our patients would have to travel long distances for that. So we've really learned that we can tap in to our uh, local interprofessional colleagues to help provide that quality of care for patients. For an example that I can give you, I had a patient very recently who unfortunately developed a foot drop, uh, and he did actually go to the city, and he saw a neurologist and a neurosurgeon, and I had organized investigations and none of us could really figure out why it had happened. Um, but what this meant for him is he, he couldn't walk very well and this was a patient who used to walk like five kilometers a day. Uh, fortunately we have an amazing occupational therapist in our healthcare team here in New Liskard and I had my patient see the occupational therapist mostly to see if I could get a walker for him. Uh, he came back to me and said well I can get a walker but actually I can even better that I can get a splint that will fix his foot drop. That was something that I wasn't even aware of and perhaps Perhaps an orthopedic surgeon would have been aware of that, but that's not who my patient had seen when he had gone to the city. So here in our own community, the occupational therapist was able to fit my patient for the splint um, and help do all the paperwork required to pay for it because it was about $1,000 and he didn't have that money. Uh, so the occupational therapist got some government grants, got some grants through the March of Dimes, and then our local Lions Club uh, also helped pay for the, for the device. Um, and now my patient's out walking again and he's smiling again uh, and uh, is going to be able to address the other health factors like his weight and blood pressure by being able to get out and walk. So by knowing uh, who you have in terms of other allied health professionals in your community, what their knowledge and resources are, then we can really provide high quality care despite being far away from the large city centers. When I trained, all of my educators were physicians. Uh, I never once got to sit and meet with uh, a physiotherapist, for example, or an optometrist or even a speech-language pathologist. So I didn't really know what they could do and how they could help me. I spent some of my time in ophthalmology in a very specialized ophthalmology clinic at Sunnybrook Hospital, and that was really the vast majority of my education on the eye. Uh, it's not very common that I ever see the conditions that we were taught about there. The things that I see as an everyday physician, I see red eyes, I see sore eyes, I see conjunctivitis and keratitis, and that's all more in the purvey of optometry. It probably would have been far better for me to have learned from those people, um, and also I have very similar equipment to what the optometrists have. I don't have the fancy ophthalmology clinic in my office. I have a fundoscope, and in the emergency department I have a slit lamp. This is very similar to what the optometrists have. It took me a long time time to feel really comfortable with that equipment and to learn how to use it well because I didn't get that experience in my undergraduate education. Uh, NOSM's taken a very different approach where these people are actively involved in educating our students from day at one. Um, and when they come to the communities like us in third year, they spend a number of sessions over the course of eight months working with different healthcare professionals that we have in the community who are not physicians. So the benefit is that they get to see the role that these uh, other allied health professionals play, learn what what types of skills they have, uh, and I actually think it makes them better at doing different parts of, of their job in the future uh, because a lot of these professionals are highly trained. Uh, for example, a physiotherapist is going to be much better at assessing musculoskeletal problems than I'm going to be after my four years of undergrad and two years of residency. So by learning from professionals who are already more skilled than I am at that particular area of human care, they'll be better physicians in the future, um, but they'll also know when should I have a physiotherapist, for example, help out with my patients? Or when is an appropriate time to see an optometrist uh, versus an ophthalmologist? So Nossum's done a great job of integrating those people to help us teach our students right from day one so that they will be very comfortable working in a healthcare team and have a much better understanding of uh, who these people are and what they do. I find it's actually benefited me as a physician who teaches the students because then often they'll come back to the office uh, and they'll say, well, did you know that the speech-language pathologist can do that for you? I see that you have this problem here. Have you ever considered having the patient see a physiotherapist? They can help with that. Uh, so it's been a great secondary education for me as well by having the students spend time with the allied health professionals.